I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out the game. Thomas, Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I already know that I can cuff you, I'm a cheater. Hey, uh, stick up. This to all my exes, I let go, I don't miss ya. Put your flesh in sticks, light show, we gon' get ya. Pussy got me out of this world if I kiss ya. Put some respect on your name if I hit ya. Middle school, inner school, tryna get a lissa. If it's up, then it's stuck, slide, I won't dish ya. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification. Gang, RiceGangClothing.com for the merchandise. You heard me right. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. Hope. All is well. It's a rainy day out here where I'm at, but uh, just got the news. I seen it on Vlad that uh, Sirius Jones took a plea deal in his case. If a lot of y'all don't know, Sirius Jones had been in trouble for quite some time for uh, human trafficking slash pimping slash robbery slash a little bit of everything sprinkled in their case. He had been sitting in jail in um, California for quite some time he had to go fund me it only raised like a hundred dollars or something like that and now he is taking a plea deal in his case which is going to have him locked up for the next three years and um you know Sirius Jones a lot of older fans remember Sirius Jones from some of his battles like Jin Fight Club joints him versus Murder Mook dot on his head dot on his leg dot 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 uh you know Smack called me I was getting some head I waked up, I kicked that bitch off the bed, whoever, whenever, wherever he's dead. Uh, and now Sirius Jones finds himself in a bit of trouble. Uh, we hadn't really seen Sirius Jones on the battle rap scene. I think the last battle that I seen of Sirius Jones was him versus Math again when they had the little rematch on Rare Breed. And that wasn't really a great battle. Then I seen him versus Ill Will before that. I think I kind of liked him versus Ill Will. But from a from a historical perspective, Sirius Jones was one of the innovators, one of those guys that, you know, he never was known to really roll with a crew. He was always dolo. He, he had the issues with the Harlem Cats. He battled Murder Mook in the barbershop. And now he finds himself behind bars, you know what I'm saying, having to do three years as a plea. I don't know how long he was actually facing in his case, but uh, he took a plea, which is smart. And no, more, the majority of the time when someone takes a plea, it's because they were facing a lot more time. And the plea deal is what they got to get, you know, an early out and just admit what they were going through, you know. And I hope that, uh, you know, Sirius Jones takes this time to reflect, to learn, to grow and to continue to uh, develop himself, even if it's not as a battle rapper, as a man, you know, none of us is perfect. I was having this conversation earlier that nobody's perfect. We've all made mistakes. I've made mistakes. I've done dumb shit in my life and in battle rap that, you know, if I could do it again, I probably would never have been involved with. But at the same time, we have had room to, you know, continue to grow and try to prosper and do things in a better light. Now, Sirius Jones, you know, those are serious charges for Sirius Jones. Uh, having to face sitting in jail for the next three years, you know, that's that's a lot of time, but it's probably not the maximum of, of what he was facing. You know, like I said, he was facing some pretty serious charges in his case. And, um, you know, like I said, Sirius Jones was the was the first person to battle and beat Jin, like since, like really beat Jin. There's five billion people in China. You can't even go platinum over there. Like he was one of the first people to expose Jin when back in the days in the um in the early Smack DVD days, you know, and um Jin, Sirius Jones went on to do a lot of other things for himself and for his career, but now you know he's uh locked up and um you know hopefully like I said earlier when he gets out he'll um make amends and um do what he needs to do for himself. I don't know if he has any kids, but you know I don't never want to see uh somebody who had potential and skills and things like that to be locked up and be sitting away for years and years of their life you know what i'm saying it's, it's just way too much things that we could be doing for the community for the youth and for entertaining and for empowerment issues you know what i'm saying and you know once you get caught up in that repetitive cycle of being in jail and coming out of jail it's just crazy and um for serious jones 
you know, I hope that uh, things get better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that's what I, I definitely do. You know what I'm saying? He's in my thoughts and he's in my prayers. And it's just an unfortunate time, especially in America as a black man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you never want to see that. But, you know, there was a victim in the crime. And, you know, Sirius Jones, he if he, can, he took a plea. Not everybody that takes a plea is guilty. Sometimes you get presented with a plea and, you know, you're facing 30 years in jail or 15 years in jail. And you get faced with a plea. And the plea looks so good, it's like, shit, if I take this plea for three, I could be out in two and a half, you know what I'm saying? And I could be right back out doing what I was doing or getting to it how I get to it. And um, I forgot, yeah, Sirius Jones had a record deal with Disturbing the Peace. That record deal really didn't go. His music never really materialized. I don't think I ever heard a Sirius Jones song. Not that I know. I don't think I never heard. No, I don't know no Sirius Jones music. His music never really materialized, and his record deal, like, fizzled away. And then, you know, he... um he dwindled off into being um, a battle rapper, which he was, which he was doing, but uh, he never really got to the top, top tier level of battle rap, and he hasn't been battling in quite a some time. I haven't seen him in a couple of years, but you know, I would definitely hope that uh, when he when he's released, you know, he can um, do something with himself because uh, Sirius Jones, you definitely do have talent, and you are definitely legendary. Not legend. I wouldn't say Sirius Jones is a legend, but he's legendary because you can't take away him versus Murder Move. You can't take away him versus Jin. You can't take away a lot of the battles that he had early in his career. You can't take away him and Math. You know what I'm saying? They're they're famous back and forth. You know what I'm saying? The, the Math. Woo! You know what I'm saying? Like you can never take back the she wanna fuck with the woo. You can never take back the woo. You know? You can never take back the woo. You can never take back Math Math Battle. You can never take back math popping on him and on stage and, and ending Summer Madness 4. Um, but, you know, people grow. And um, like I said, I've grown a lot in my time. You know what I'm saying? Like from going down and up and, and all type of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely appreciative. And um, I'm thankful for the people who tune in and check out this content. Um, you know, but that's, that's the news so far of the day. Uh, Sirius Jones three years in jail uh more people have been talking about this whole uh ill will battling two people um on the same day uh i mentioned it in a blog yesterday that if that is something that actually happened i heard there's a bunch of blogs out about it i guess hip-hop is real interviews and stuff like that i didn't watch all of those interviews to figure out if that's actually what happened but if it did i feel like that's a remarkable feat and we could definitely give ill will some credit show love and admiration for but um it's just one of those things that, for me, it's kind of like a hands-off thing until I actually see it. That's just the way I go about my form of blogging, my form of media. I don't really uh, like to deal with, touch on, or speak about battles that I haven't saw because um, I don't think it's really conducive to the brand of the actual artist to be talking about battles that um, haven't been released. But, uh, you know, the accomplishment is definitely good in itself. Um, but um, overall, hope all is well. We approaching the weekend, approaching that Tay Rock versus Murder Mook. I know a lot of y'all are excited. Oh, what I did want to say is uh, Rock did go online earlier and say that uh, Math Hoffa has him in his bag because uh, Math said that uh, Murder Mook is on a nine. His level is a nine. And he said that uh, Tay Rock's level is a two. <laughs> My boy Math, you know how to make people hot. Rock said that he's hot. He said he's in his bag. He's angry about it, and that uh, he's gonna take it out in the battle. Uh, Math, my nigga. Math, Math been making some news recently. Math. So I guess you betting on Mook. You said you wanted that. You said you wanted to want to get that hundred back. Math bet be a hundred dollars that uh, the Lakers will win the championship in five. I bet they win it in six. So I got that hundred off of him. Hey, you want to get that hundred back? Hey, Math Hoffa, you want to get that hundred back? Holla at me, big baby. You got my number. I can bet on Rock. You can bet on Moon. Let's put that hundo on it. Mav said that Rock was at a level two. <laughs> you be doing how to make niggas, man. Boy, that boy, man. That's my... I fuck with Mav, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I respect this grind. I respect what he do. Still sharp and still. You know what I'm saying? Um, He, he may talk about subjects that get... Jims was saying in his blog earlier, and I'm saying it now. I agree. You know, somebody may talk about a subject 
that may bounce off the wall and somebody else may talk about, you know what I'm saying? There's only so many subjects that could be talked about. So when things bounce, bing, 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 this person may talk about it, that person may talk about it, Jim's eye, boom, 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 that's how it works. But big baby, you said that you was on a level two? You got to stand on that. You got to stand on that, being a level two. You got to, you got to own that. You said it. You said it. So hit me up. But other than that, y'all already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Salute to every single one of y'all out there, man. You know, I hope that, hopefully... You know, that y'all learn from what goes on with some of these guys that go to jail and things like that. And even in your life, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not perfect. I appreciate the people that watch the content. I've made my own share of mistakes, a lot of them. But I'm here because of perseverance and continuing to grow, strive and develop and build off of them. You know what I'm saying? So um, it is what it is. But other than that, let's get to it. Oh, and thanks to all the people that hit me up about sneakers. God damn. Bruh, I put the word out that I was looking for some sneakers. I must have got hit up 40 times about them shits. I appreciate it. Got a couple good people who hit me up and got some connections and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? They ain't really retail prices. They're a little above it and all of that, but I'm getting the information that I want. So I appreciate y'all, and we're going to get this thing moving. I already know that I can cuff you on the cheetah. Hey. Uh, dick up, this to all my exes, I let go, I don't miss ya Put your flex in sticks, light show, we gon' get ya Pussy got me out of this world if I kiss ya Put some respect on your name if I hit ya Middle school, inner school, tryna get a lissa If it's up, then it's stuck, slide, I won't dish ya You gon' get your bitch fucked good just for dissing I can take my nigga nowhere, they mess up the kitchen Y'all be Papa Perky, saying never had prescription Pussy so wet, might drown, might slipping 